could be a little better. That's the Type 1, so the Type 2 must be further up ahead somewhere. Here it is. Uh, could be okay. Whether it will go off or not is another question, but um, I'm sure I said it to impact, but maybe I, I don't know. Ooh, this one's going to miss, I think. Or maybe... Oh, it's going to be so close! Whoa! It, w it went off anyway. And here's the Type 1. <laughs> and that just bounces off. Okay, so we got a hit right on the prow. I don't know whether it hit, actually hit the ship. It looks more like it passed in front of it and maybe... So the uh, magnetic trigger went off, but we hit it. Not sure if it's enough for it to go down, though. Um, hopefully the water is now pouring in through the front here, being forced in because of the ship's forward momentum. Um, but will it be enough? I don't... I'm doubtful, to be honest. Okay, let's turn to the south. Slow down so that we uh, are, are harder to track. It's now daytime. Oh, I've got this convoy now coming towards me. Wonder if that this guy's actively searching for me or not. Uh, I don't know. He's right on top of me. No pinging so far. Um, I was just going to say we should be reloading torpedoes, but we're running silent right now. I think we're okay. This guy over here is definitely searching for me. I don't know. Oh god, okay. The pinging, they haven't locked onto me yet. Hmm. Hear it. Oh God. They're on us. Where are they? Bearing sixty eight over here somewhere. Yeah. Um. Um. I need to wait until he's close enough. Neue Tiefe 1, 6, 6 Meter. 
Come on, you bastard. Come on, come at me, bro. Oh god, the ping's worse here. Is it that, this one that's pinging me? It doesn't seem to be moving. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Any moment now. Go! Move, move! God. Oh God! Derzeitige Tiefe neun null. Kleine Fahrt voraus. We should be okay. Although that doesn't look too good. No! Those were right on top of us. Okay, slow down again. Slow down. We've been a little bit uh, shallower. That could have been very, very dangerous. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay. So we're now heading this way, and there's a. Ooh, that could be good. There's a merchant right on top of us. I think. Yes, there is. This could help. So this is the second convoy. Might as well take a look at it. Hmm. Hmm. So this um, guy is definitely searching for me. There's another one over here who doesn't know where I am. And then this is the convoy attacked with this ship. Let's see how it's doing, shall we? Are you still moving? Yes, but very slowly it looks like. Your bow is definitely down in the in the water now. I might be able to come back for you later. It is... Is that Australia or New Zealand? One of the two, I think. Well, maybe not. Let's... I want to look at my... Yes, yes. It could be either one of them. Looks like they've both got the same flag with the stars on it. Okay, here we go again. Coming up behind us this time. I've got the engine going as slowly as possible. Uh. If you set it to just under one knot, it's still technically moving, but the engine is, as you can see, is uh, not going very fast. So it makes us very silent while also giving us at least some kind of forward momentum. Uh, this guy's coming around us now. We're not really presenting a very good aspect to him. you gonna do what you gonna do this is better because we've got the, the front the pointy end pointing at the enemy so the Asdic is um, less effective sorry this is kind of lots of sitting around waiting for the 
enemy to attack us, but uh, that's the game, I'm afraid. You wanted Silent Hunter 3, and now you've got it. Uh, I'm going to keep... Oh god. Oh, we've been acquired. What's it going to do? We're fairly deep now, 120 meters. No worries with uh, the depth here. Or um, the sea bed depth, I mean. Should be over a thousand meters. Which is good in one way, that we can go as deep as we like. Or as deep as we can, really. Um, on the other hand, if we sink, we've got uh, a very long way to sink and our bodies will never be recovered. And uh, our wreck will never be examined. We'll be lost to history. I'm going to move westwards here. Although, then again, it's probably best if I move along this convoy while I can. I uh, don't want to do that, don't want to do... whoops! Let's move along the convoy. He's pinging us, but I don't think he can get anywhere near us because of the convoy. Although I could be wrong. Let's go down to 160 meters if you can. He's a coming. And now, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is the last ship in the convoy, so this tactic's not going to work for much longer. Better slow down now, because you'll hear us. Uh, let's... I'm going to launch decoy. Not even heard the death charges. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so this is a good thing about being very deep. They take an age to get down to this depth. Which gives us lots of time to get out of the way. Which is good. Now, will this decoy help in any way? Let me... I'm going to turn to the west now. Uh, pinging again. I need to change direction because he knows which direction I've been going in this whole time. So when he next depth charges us, we need to move in a different direction quite rapidly I think. May as well keep going the same way for the moment. This is a thing, you can't, when you've got the time compression up, you can't hear the pinging. Um, 
like to hear the pinging to know when he knows where I am or when he doesn't. Oh, here we go. Here we go again. I'm going to go a little deeper this time. I'm going down to 180 meters. Into the red zone. So this time we go super fast. Now turn to the west and release that decoy. And that will do for the power. Sometimes wonder if I'm um, going to full power for too long, and he's kind of hearing me when he uh, when he's finished passing passing over me. That's the the worry I, I have. We haven't really moved very much in terms of our direction. The charge seems to be to our front and, l and right. Oh, that was close. That shook my sausage. Know what I mean? See? Look. It's a sausage. And uh, the depth charge shook it about. So I said, that shook my sausage. That was the joke. Did you get it? Sorry. Um, okay. This could be good though. Now heading away from it. it says enemy is pinging us though. Yep, it's pinging us. And attacking us again. This could uh, take a while. Luckily it's only one destroyer. Come on. I'm not too worried in terms of my safety, it's just uh, kind of annoying. Has it dropped any charges? It's passed over us. The sound guy didn't say it's dropped any charges, so... Let's give it a little bit of power just in case. And now we get the uh, nasty depth sounds. Could be in danger if he dropped any charges here. Didn't get the notification, but doesn't mean he didn't. Yes, I understand that. Oh! Oh! Move! Oh god, please! Yeah, they just ran my stern! See, that's kind of cheaty as well. With the depth camera, I'd have no idea at all that those things were dropping on me if it weren't for that um, event camera. Sorry, not depth camera. I wish it was possible to keep the event camera for like torpedoes and hitting ships, but not have it for depth charges. That would make it a little bit more realistic, I think. Well,. I guess I'll probably cut here because there's not a whole lot going on apart from almost dying just then. Um, but I could be here for a while. So unless something interesting happens I will um, cut here and you'll have to find out if I survive or not um, when I come back or 
if I decide to end the episode here, then you'll have to wait till next episode. So um, I will. That's probably what I'll end up doing. So I shall see you then. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Okay, so this is happening. This is quite... Oh, God! Look at that! Oh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Nothing damaged. But that was a little close. But that's, this is a good view, actually, for... Just for kind of... Not for gameplay purposes, but... Um, just to show how the depth charges actually come down and the pattern they they have uh, yeah it's pretty good it's pretty good I was just taking a look at the external camera so he's still chasing us will he ever run out of charges maybe this is only a couple of minutes after I last left you but I just wanted to show you that um, interesting shot um, yeah I'm still here that last one was kind of scary, but, um, yeah, I'll come back if something else scary happens. Little update for you, it's now almost ten past ten. We're still here, we're down at 230 meters below. Uh, when did we start this attack? Torpedo impact at 7.27. So half past seven. It's now uh, 10 a.m. So two and a half hours I've been down here. <laughs> this guy will not give up. He will not give up. He is the Terminator of destroyers. He's coming to destroy you. Come on, do it. Get down. Get down on the, the, the waves right there. Exactly. Um... Yeah, not really had any close calls in terms of um, uh, death charges. It's just um, kind of worrying. Uh, I mean, my only hope is he runs out of death charges. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be here forever. Um, battery is okay. Oxygen is still good. I know this was a tactic they used during World War Two, towards the end of World War Two, anyway, where um, they just kind of starved. Not really starved, but you know, didn't let up with the with uh, the attacking destroyers, even if they weren't really hitting or coming near to the enemy U-boat. They just kept them underwater for hours and hours and hours until eventually. They ran out of air or ran out of battery power and had to surface or whatever. Um, but normally you'd have more than one destroyer doing that. In this case it's just the one, so eventually this must run out of depth charges. Also we've got a couple of merchants unescorted over here, which would have been nice to encounter, but it doesn't look like we're going to. Um, yeah, so that was my update and I'll come back. If anything else happens, or if I finally escape this hell. I'm back. It's now 11.42. He's still there. <laughs> he won't go away. Why won't he go away? God. This is a hell mare. I don't know what to do. He just he pings me every single time. There's no way you know. It doesn't matter what direction I'm facing, whether I'm facing towards him or not. I'm down like almost 240 meters. I've launched decoys. He knows exactly where I am at all times. I don't think it even matters how fast I go. I might as well just go at full th full throttle constantly, just to try and outrun him. Uh, yeah, 
starting to get a bit annoyed really. I wanted to go out to the shops. I've got a doctor's appointment in uh, an hour or two. <laughs> and I can't leave the game. I could try saving it now and, and coming back, but um, it doesn't really like saving the game when you're in the middle of uh, an engagement like this. Um, so there's a high chance I could come back and it just won't load. But this ship appears to have an unlimited amount of depth charges. So I don't really know what I can possibly do. And as I say, they are uh, able to track me constantly. So I'm a little flummoxed. Don't know where the convoy's gone. I mean, that must be at uh, Southampton by now, or Plymouth, or I don't know. Maybe it's gone to Torshaven, or you know, maybe it's all the way over in Murmansk by now. <sighs> what are you still doing here, you stupid escorts? Give up. Um. Yeah. So I'm annoyed. <laughs> Um, and I guess I'll come back uh, for the next update in four hours' time.
Okay, so it's two o'clock in the afternoon in game time and this is still going on. The funny thing is I have been zooming along here at high time compression. I've not even bothered to take any avoiding action and I think we were about to see why. So this is my current position. Speed things up a little bit. He's going on a run. Or so we think. And yet. No depth charges. Nothing. Oh, and I've, I'm uh, now using my oxygen supply, which is good. Um, he appears to be making runs. But not dropping anything. And look. He just goes round and round. This is 128 time compression. Coming up to 3 o'clock. Uh, I don't know what to do. This doesn't seem correct. Surely if he's run out of depth charges he should go home. this is pointless. I mean if you want to keep track of me just sail next to me. You don't have to keep ru running on top of me all the time for no reason. Look, almost four o'clock. Um, so, oops, sorry, hit the microphone. Um, so something else is wrong here. I don't know what. I haven't messed with anything that could have uh, cocked up the AI, I wouldn't have thought. Uh, I don't know what to do. Well, I'm just going to save the game and come back to it and I don't know, if it crashes after starts again, fine. Not too bothered. Um, looks like I might have to do a bit, bit of work, more work behind the scenes anyway. I'm sorry everybody. I don't understand why this is happening. See, it's now almost six o'clock, so we're like 12 hours since I attacked, almost 12 hours since I attacked the original convoy, and he's still, <laughs> yeah, he won't let go, he's a terrier. Um, you know what? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say sod it because I'm going to have to reload this patrol anyway. Let's have a battle. <laughs> 